Headline, Cybertruck Catastrophe. Tesla's $50,000 smackdown on resales, or does it? Hey, gearheads and EV enthusiasts, buckle up for a story that's got everyone buzzing. Tesla and the Cybertruck customer caught in a sticky situation. Apparently, a buyer, let's call him Cliff, because ouch, bought a Cybertruck, that stainless steel behemoth, only to find it wouldn't fit in his new apartment's parking spot. Classic Cliff. Cue dramatic music. So what did Cliff do? Tried to sell the truck naturally. But that's where things get cyber weird. According to reports, Tesla has a clause in their Cybertruck sales agreement that restricts resales for the first year. If they catch wind of you trying to offload your truck, even with a slightly used disclaimer, they can hit you with a whopping $50,000 fine. Is Tesla being a total Elon Musk? That's a play on words, folks. Well, there are two sides to this story. Some folks say Tesla's just trying to prevent scalping, where people buy limited edition vehicles and then immediately jack up the price for resale. Others think it's a draconian move that restricts consumer rights. Here's the Cliff Notes version, because Cliff's story is already a cliffhanger. Tesla says no way to resales in the first year. Break the rule? You could face a $50,000 fine and be banned from future Tesla purchases. Some folks are mad, some understand. So, what's the takeaway? Do your research before buying any vehicle, especially a unique one like the Cybertruck. Double-check those sales agreements, folks. Measure your dang parking spot. This situation is still unfolding, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on what happens to Cliff and the fate of the $50,000 fine. In the meantime, let us know in the comments below. Is Tesla justified, or is this a cyber bully move?